this is what we all love. Dog coming in, slamming on point, just getting that bird scent, getting that bird scent up his nose. Just the intensity on his face is just, ugh, I just love it. But let's talk about bird scent. How does it move through the air? What's gonna happen when a slight breeze changes? What we wanna do is we wanna show you visually how the scent travels across the ground. We'll do that with a smoke bomb and just give you an idea of what's happening. It's gonna be an exaggerated view of scent because there's gonna be a lot of smoke that comes out. But look at a covey of birds, whether quail, maybe some chucker out there in an area, or even pheasants. They're gonna put off a lot of scent. You're doing a training session. Your dog slams on point, and then he moves off a point and goes on point again. You all know what that means. He's looking for the scent. We're gonna show that to you. So it's been called several things. Scent cone, scent stream. They're all good visuals for everybody, but what we'll show you you get a really good idea. Right now, there's a slightest of breeze. I can barely feel it, but that's a good distance right there. So he's obviously scenting these birds that I've got on the ground here. Let's go ahead and show you, and you'll get to see exactly what we're talking about. This is an overhead shot of a dog in the scent cone then you'll see the scent move off the dog and you can only imagine that an inexperienced dog would want to try to reacquire that scent. It's just a great example of how scent moves when the air currents change. This is a very good example of scent that just moves straight up. There's no breeze, there's no place for that scent to go and it's just gonna hang out. A dog's gonna end up being right up on top of that bird if he gets this scent. This is a great scene of what scent does when it's going along the ground. There's a depression over by that tree on the right hand side. Imagine a dog running along that depression and having that scent drop down in there. Your dog's gonna go on point, yet that bird's gonna be a long way away simply because of the scent, how it moves along the ground. This next example shows a great ground level view of a dog that's in the scent cone and then the scent's gonna move away from the dog. Again, an experienced dog's gonna to wanna to move up to that scent or maybe into the bird. Scent moving with air currents can do some really weird things. While it may feel like it's coming one way up where you're at, down at ground level where the dog is, it might be moving entirely different. Trust your dog, believe in their instincts. You'll find that they know just a little bit more than you do. Hope we've given you a better understanding of exactly how scent moves with the breeze, moves with the wind, air currents, stuff like that. A mentor of mine a long time ago, Charlie Williams, told me that, you know, a dog can only smell half the time. They've got to exhale, and they don't smell when they're exhaling. So. You know, just think of your dog when he's running down a line that you planted a bird, he misses that bird. It may not be because he didn't smell it, maybe because he was exhaling at that time. That's a really, really good thing to remember. If you've liked this video and you'd like to see more from Dogs Unlimited, please subscribe to our channel.